So, you want to teach English online, but you don't know where to start, what you need, or who to apply with. Well, stay tuned, it might just be simpler than you think. Hi, I'm Simi. Welcome to my channel, Class in the Cloud. On this channel, I give suggestions and tips on how to make your online English teaching journey or your online learning journey a success. In this series, we're talking about teaching English online and specifically how to get started. Now, this is video five of a 10 part series. Link to the playlist below. Now, if you haven't watched the other videos, make sure to watch them after this one. And don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. In this video, we're going to talk about time zones, schedules, and money. Now, please take note that I live in South Africa. So time zones and exchange rates are relevant to South Africa. However, there is a link below where you can easily convert the time zones and the currencies for easy reference. The time difference between South Africa and China is six hours. According to the Greenwich Mean Time, South Africa is plus two and China is plus eight. So China is six hours ahead of us. There are two time blocks that you can work as an online English teacher. First is the most common and most popular, which is the China peak times. Now this refers to additional English learning after hours. So after school and after work. Typically these peak hours would be from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Beijing time for children and 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Beijing time for adults. That will equate to 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in South Africa for children and 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in South Africa for teaching adults. The second type of contract you'll find is teaching English online at school during school hours. Here you will be on a big screen in front of a whole class with a Chinese teacher facilitator to assist you. Now the Chinese school day runs from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Beijing time. So in South Africa or Central African time, that will work out to 1.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. On weekends, as well as school holidays and festivals in China, most of the online English learning institutions will be open for teaching from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Beijing time or 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. in South Africa or Central Africa time. Now, I prefer to wake up at 4 a.m. instead of 3 a.m., but I have experienced that my early morning classes are always fully booked and it is worth making the sacrifice or lifestyle adjustment to put in those extra hours. I've put a link below for a site where you can quite easily convert your time zones from Beijing time to the time zone where you find yourself. What I've also done is I've actually set my laptop time to Beijing time to help me not get confused with time zones. Now we're going to talk about schedules. The online English learning institutions will typically offer you a one year contract and they'll require you to work a minimum of 10 hours or 20 lessons in a week. However, you can book more hours if you wish. Now, I've already said that peak time in China is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. during the week, Beijing time, or 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. South African time or Central African time. The nice thing about teaching English online is you can set up your own availability according to the time frames that the company provides. I typically work 25 to 35 hours a week, which equates to roughly four hours a day. Now, as mentioned, weekends are busy, so most of my hours I acquire from working on weekends, those early morning 4 a.m. shifts. I teach six to eight lessons a day during the week, Tuesday to Friday, and anything from 10 to 14 lessons a day on a Saturday and a Sunday. That, as mentioned, gives me 25 to 35 hours of work a week. I have only experienced full schedules in the last eight months, but that could also be attributed to COVID-19. Now, it is important to remember that Rome was not built in a day and neither was your full schedule or your regular following. So it is important to be patient as you grow. Your schedule will fill up eventually. In order to fill up your schedule or to spread the risk, so to speak, it might be wise to onboard with two companies. 
The easiest way to do this is that you work for one company who has a fixed schedule. So for that company, you would be contracted to teach the same students on the same day of the week, same time every week for a six to 12 month period. The second type of contract could then be a live schedule contract. You could quite easily work the two around each other. But do be very careful if you're on board with more than one company, you would really want to avoid any situation of double booking yourself. In my experience, June and September are quiet months. And then your busier months would be the summer and winter holiday times, as well as festivals such as Spring Festival, Mid-Autumn Festival or National Holiday. But that also depends on the company who you work for. Now the part you're probably waiting for, money. The majority of the Chinese English learning institutions will pay you in US dollars. Now there is no regulation of how much these learning institutions should pay their online teachers. So some companies would offer you $3 an hour and some companies would offer you $25 an hour. But generally what I've experienced, especially in the current climate where base rates have dropped quite a bit, the average that you could expect to be offered as an online English teacher with the correct qualifications and experience would be anything from 12 to 15 US dollars an hour. As I mentioned, I live in South Africa, so the exchange rate is based on where I live. So let's, for example, say that you work 25 hours a week or 100 hours a month at a base rate of $15 an hour. That means that you could earn a maximum of $1,500 a month. At an exchange rate where $1 gives you 15 Rand, you could potentially earn anything from 18,000 Rand to 22,000 Rand per month. Do remember that you will not always be fully booked. And as the exchange rate fluctuates, your monthly income will also fluctuate. Some companies will do direct transfers to your bank account, but most companies prefer to use either PayPal, TransferWise or Payoneer. How your money is transferred would then be discussed between you and the company you work for. In a future video, I will go into more detail on what you could potentially earn across a 12 month period, including all the festivals and holidays. And I'll also share with you what I do for tax purposes. In a nutshell, peak time for teaching English online is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Beijing time during the week and 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Beijing time on weekends. Working out to Central African time or South African time, that would be from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. during the week and 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. on weekends. Secondly, most online English learning institutions will require you to work a minimum of 10 hours a week, but you could work more than those hours. If you work 100 hours a month at a base rate of $15 an hour, you could potentially earn $1,500 a month. For now, that's a wrap. If you found this video informative, please hit like and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the future videos.